in the wake of His Excellency the President's visit to China, um, Ghanaians were told variously about the President securing six billion. Some reports even put it at nine billion uh, during that particular trip. Why? Why have we presented uh, you know only a three billion facility to to Parliament from from the CDB? When the President visited China, he went with both a public sector and a private, you know sector promotion agenda and so some of the figures that were you know floated around mm -hmm. included even you know investments that were required to be made you know in the private sector and therefore some of the figures went as high as 12 billion 15 billion but for the public sector what we are actually talking about are two framework agreements that were signed with two chinese financing institutions uh, the exim bank framework agreements require that the Chinese government and the Ghana government will enter into a cooperation agreement, you know, for a six billion dollar facility. And that involves concessional as well as, in other words, a concessional as well as um, commercial facilities or loans uh, that would promote both social infrastructure like schools, hospitals, uh, and then commercial and trade you know, activities, you know, like infrastructure projects, roads, you know, um, oil and gas, and, uh, and, and, uh, and others like promotion of uh, business links between Chinese businesses and Ghanaian businesses. But what is in Parliament now is a second facility, which is $3 billion, that was entered into with the China Development Bank, which is a commercial loan facility, which we are targeting towards the productive sector, uh, sectors of the economy. And we will have the opportunity to explain you know, what those uh, productive, productive sectors, sectors of the economy mean. But let me just add quickly that these were all selected from the Ghana Shared Growth and Development Agenda. That's our medium term you know, plan, which calls for a certain uh, amount of investment you know, in strategic sectors of the economy so that we can continue with the accelerated growth that you know we have been experiencing